Calculation of the heart rate. There are simple methods to calculate the heart rate from the ECG, depending on whether the rhythm is regular or not. If the rhythm is regular, heart rate will equal to the result of dividing 300 by the number of big squares between two successive R waves. So if the ECG is showing regular rhythm, we can calculate the heart rate by dividing 300 by the number of big squares between two successive R waves. But if the rhythm is irregular, like in atrial fibrillation for example, by this we will not be able to use the two successive R's as a fixed interval because it will be different. It will not be equal throughout the ECG. So we use another method, which is multiplying 10 by the number of QRS complexes in 6 seconds because if you multiply it 6 seconds by 10 it will give us 1 minute so if you multiply the number of QRS complexes within 6 seconds by 10 we will have the number of QRS complexes within 1 minute and this method can be applied in regular as well as irregular rhythms but it needs a long strip of ECG if heart rate is more than 100 beats per minute it's a tachycardia if heart rate is less than 60 beat per minute, it's a bradycardia. Sometimes the atria and ventricles are stimulated by separate pacemakers, like in complete heart block or AV dissociation. In this case, the rate of B waves will be different from that of the QRS complexes. Like this strip is shown as complete heart block. These are multiple B waves, which are regular in their own rhythm they have their own rate of firing which is if we calculate it because it is regular we can calculate the heart rate or the atrial rate from this first method number of big squares between two successive b zeros one two three four so if we divided 300 by four it will give us 75 b waves per minute but here on the other side, QRS complexes, although they are regular in the rhythm, but severe bradycardia is there. If we calculate how many big boxes here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's about 10. So if we divide it, 300 by 10, it will give us 30. So the QRS complex rate here, which, which will be the same of the radial pulse, will be 30 beats per minute. ECG leads. These leads record the electrical activity of the heart from different positions, acting as cameras. You can imagine the impulse, because it is the same impulse, the same electrical activity, but it will give you 12 different shapes within the 12 different leads of the ECG, because it is exactly as someone is standing in the middle of a room was surrounding 12 cameras each camera will give you a different view because it is recording or capturing or imaging from different angle that's why although it is the same electrical activity but it will give you 12 different shapes of the same electrical activity they are divided into two groups extremity leads that are connected by electrodes through the extremities upper limbs and lower limbs, and chest leads or precordial leads. The extremity leads are further divided into bipolar and unipolar. Bipolar, these are 1 and 2 and 3. Unipolar, AVR, AVL, AVF. Precordial leads are unipolar. What is the meaning of unipolar and bipolar? Unipolar means it has one ball and recording the electrical activity in relation to zero potential. Bipolar means it has negative ball and positive ball. As we all know from our primary and secondary schools that electrical current moves from negative to the positive ball. Bipolar leads, lead one, its negative ball is in the right hand and going to its positive ball which is in the left hand. Lead two, from the right hand to the left leg or the left foot, lead three from the left hand to the left foot. 
bipolar here again means that it records the electrical activity relative to the voltage at another extremity unipolar means that it records the electrical activity relative to the zero potential unipolar limb leads AVR towards the right arm AV means augmented vector R right AVL L left arm AVF towards the left foot this drawing will let us understand the directions of different leads as we said before this lead one this is lead two this is lead three lead one moving from negative to positive from the right hand to the left hand lead two from the right hand to the foot lead three from the left hand to the foot so if we collected all of the three leads in one illustration to give us this illustration one like that two three the unipolar limb leads are AVR to the right arm AVL to the left arm AVF to the foot and after collection it will give us this illustration AVF looking down AVR looking to the right AVL looking to the left if we collected all of, all of the six leads in one illustration it will give us this shape we will need this later on one two three and AVR AVL AVF if I ask you one question and I will ask the same question later on what are the leads that are recording the inferior surface of the heart from this illustration you will understand that those leads are looking inferiorly so if any changes in the inferior surface of the heart it will be recorded by these leads 2, 3 and the AVF that's why they are called the inferior leads and 1 and AVL are called the lateral leads these six leads 1 2, 3, AVR, AVL, AVF are designed to be done by placement of four electrodes on the body with standard colors red, yellow, black, green red on the right hand black, right foot, yellow, left hand, green, left foot